but we became concerned because when I think the manager, at least from our perspective, the media perspective, where the manager is going to be asked to apologize for matters which come, come out of um, statements which were made by someone else, and matters which surprisingly were being called racist and otherwise, and instructions were being given for certain things to be done. I believe that, uh, at least from my angle, I said we would wait for the Chief Minister to comment on how these matters should normally be handled and what he expects his staff and his people to do regarding such matters. After we were in office just for a few months, we made sure that all sittings of the Legislative Council were made public and broadcast live on Radio Montserrat. Because it's important for the public to get an understanding of what is happening in their parliament. So we have always been of the view that the freedom of information is a right in a democratic society. In this second time around, and I think again it's a first, and I think perhaps even in the Caribbean, where we have offered the opposition en bloc a certain number of hours per month for them to utilize in broadcasting their messages to the public free of cost. We are of the view that persons must be in a position in any democratic society to hear varying points of view. Let me make it abundantly clear, however, the government of Montserrat does not promote, promulgate, or encourage any form of racism in Montserrat. I think we've gone beyond those days. But to say somebody is black or somebody is white, in my mind, is not a racist statement. Because when I look at a copy of the Herald of the 21st of November 2010, it states very clearly in the ad on the lost persons or missing persons, a lady missing five foot nine white female. And right next to her was a gentleman who was missing who was described as a black male. So therefore, black and white is considered a standard language. And I, I do not think that in the context of Mr. Brand's statement, that in fact there was any racism involved. As it relates to how the matter has been dealt with since that time, I'd just like to say it may not have been dealt with in the most appropriate manner. But there are too many more important things for us in Munsrat to deal with than for us to be distracted uh, by that matter. So I would like to say, and I want to make it abundantly clear, that whatever errors of judgment took place during that period, those errors of judgment are gone and passed. There will be no recurrence of such errors of judgment. And the matter, in my mind, should now be put to rest.